This is the fourth in a series of videos designed to teach the basics of HTML. If you are new to HTML and have not yet watched the first three videos in this series, then you might want to go back and watch them before watching this video. This video will demonstrate the use of the image tag for placing images on a web page. The anchor tag will also be demonstrated, which can be used for creating links on a web page. So let's start by going to littlewebhut.com and on the home page press the HTML tab and scroll down to the quick tag reference and then find the image tag IMG and click on that and first we'll look at the syntax for the image tag. We see that there's a difference between HTML and XHTML syntax. For XHTML, we follow IMG by a space and a forward slash. And then we can see in the usage information section that we have some examples, one for HTML and one for XHTML. And we can also notice that this is using the source and the alt attributes. So let's go down here to the attribute summary and take a quick look at this. And we'll notice that both the alt and the source attributes are required attributes. So let's go down here to get some more information on these attributes. On the alt attribute, we see that the alt attribute is used to specify alternate text that will be displayed in the event that the image cannot be displayed. So if someone is using a browser in text-only mode, for instance, or if they're using a browser that does not display images, then this alternate text is what will be displayed instead of the image. And next we can go down and look at some more information for the source attribute. And we can see that this is used to specify the URL of the image that we want to display. So let's click on the Test It XHTML button. And now we can see that we have our image tag here, and then we have the source attribute, and the value that we're giving for this is 8ball.gif. And this is an image file that's located in the same directory as the HTML file that we are running. And then the alternate text that we have displayed here is just 8ball. And I also have height and width attributes, and we'll talk about those in just a minute. So I'll press the test button here, and now you can see that we have the image displayed. So let's go up here now and look at the height and width attributes. So the height, it says 168, and that's 168 pixels. If I were to change that to 268, and then press the test button, you can see that it stretches the image so that it will be 268 pixels high. Now let's go up and let's take a look at some information about the width attribute. And this is true for the height attribute also. But for the width attribute, it says that the, the value that we specify is in pixels. Or you can use a percentage if you follow the number by a percent sign. So let's go down here and try that. So for width, I'm going to change it from 100 pixels to 50%. And that will be 50% of the available space. So when I press the test button, you can see now that it stretched this width out to be 50% of the available space that I had here to work with. And one more thing to mention about this tag before we go on. And that is in this source attribute here, this is called a relative address that I'm using. And it's called a relative address because the address of this 8ball.gift file is relative to the directory that my HTML file is located in. Since it's located in the same directory, I just need to specify the name of this file. If, however, this image file were located, say, on another website, 
then you need to start the source attribute with HTTP colon forward slash forward slash and then www dot the name of your website whatever that may be dot com slash and then a path to the image file that you would like to display so now let's scroll up and on the menu on the left we want to find the anchor tag which is an A enclosed in angle brackets so let's click on that the anchor tag is a very useful tag it has two primary purposes the first is that it can be used to add a link or a hyperlink to another web page this is what I'm going to be demonstrating in this video the other use is to add a marker within a web page that another anchor can link to. You can read about that here in the usage section for more information. And the first thing that we'll look at is the syntax. And we'll notice that we have an opening anchor tag. And then we'll put some content. And then we have a closing anchor tag. And as before, since there is just a single syntax here, that means that HTML and XHTML share the same syntax. We can go down now to the usage information. And the first example that we have here shows our anchor tag, and it's using an href attribute. So let's go down to the attributes section here. Here we can see the href attribute. So we can just click on that to get us down to that really quickly. And we'll see here that we have examples of absolute addressing as well as relative addressing. And this is what we talked about with the source attribute for the image tag. Here you'll see that the href attribute has a value of http colon forward slash forward slash and then the address of little web hut. So that's an absolute address, and we always need to include this HTTP colon forward slash forward slash at the beginning of absolute addresses. If I were trying to open an HTML page that's in the same directory as the page that I'm working from, then I don't need to put HTTP at the beginning. I just need to put the file name of the HTML file that I want to use. And here's an example where the HTML file that I want to use is not in the same directory, but it's down one directory in another directory called examples. And here's another example here where the file that I want to open is up one level in the directory. To go up one level in a directory, you do dot dot forward slash and then follow that by the name of the file that you'd like to open. So let's press the test it XHTML button for the absolute address example. Here we can see the A, which starts our A tag. And then we have our href attribute. And this is the value that we're going to use. And then this is the closing angle bracket for this opening tag. And here's the closing tag for the anchor. And then this text right here in between the opening and closing tags is what will be displayed for our link text. So we'll just press the test button here to try that out. And you'll see that visit little web hut is the text that's displayed for this link. And now when I press this, it opens up little web hut. We could also go up here and put some text before the anchor tag. So I'll type, are you going to, and then after the closing anchor tag, I'm just going to put a question mark. And now when we press the test button, we have, are you going to visit Little Web Hut? And you'll also notice that visit Little Web Hut is underlined, indicating that this is a link. And we could also use an image here instead of text for the link. And I'll show you how to do that. So let's scroll back up to the top of the page. And 
this example right here shows how to use an image for a link. So I'm going to press the test it XHTML button. And you'll see that this starts with our opening anchor tag, which we have right here. And then the closing anchor tag is right here. And in between those two anchor tags is where the image tag goes. And you'll notice on the image tag, the source right here for the image is now an absolute address. And because it's an absolute address, it starts with HTTP and goes on to include littlewebhot.com. And this is the directory that it's in, images. And this is the name of the image file. And then on the anchor tag itself, we have our href attribute. And this is also an absolute address. And this is the absolute address of the home page for Little Web Hut. And notice too on the image tag that we also have the alt attribute. And remember, this is the text that will be displayed if a browser is being used that does not display images. So I'll go ahead and press the test button so we can try this out. And what we have now is this whole section right here is the image that we're displaying. So if I click on this anywhere within the image, it opens up the home page of Little Web Hut. Well, that concludes this video. Thank you for watching, and please subscribe and leave a comment.